Hello everyone. A lot of teachers have been asked to teach online using Zoom and their course book and some of you may be wondering how you can display sections of your course book online so that students can see it. Well the first thing you have to make sure of is that you're not breaking copyright law. Many publishers have digital versions of their course book available which can be used for teaching online. Basically if both the teacher and the students have purchased the course book they can usually request a free digital copy of the course book from the publisher. Now let's suppose you now have this digital course book and you want to use it for teaching online. Here's how you do it. First open Zoom on your computer, click share screen, then select the screen which you want to show to your students. Make sure you've clicked share computer audio if you plan to share sound with your students. This can be useful if you're teaching listening comprehension or playing movie clips. Now this is what the students can see. Whatever shows in your screen can be seen by yourself and the students. Let's say we're teaching listening comprehension about a remote teacher. We can start with a pre-listening task or discussion question. Then we go on to play the video by pressing play. Hi, I'm Jack. I'm an online English teacher and I teach remotely because it gives me the flexibility to choose the hours I wish to work. Another thing I like about my job is that I don't have to commute or get stuck in traffic because I teach from home. But what I like most about my job is that I can choose where I want to work even when I'm traveling. I often teach from a coffee shop or in a hotel using my laptop. When displaying text online it's very important that you don't have too much text on the screen. For this reason you might need to cut and paste sections of text. That's why I like to use software like Snagit. Once you've installed Snagit choose capture image, select the text you want to copy. I'm using my own self-created digital text to prevent breaking copyright law. Once you've captured the text as an image click on edit and grab text from the drop down menu, delete parts that you don't need and then click copy all. You can then paste this onto Google Slides for the students to see it. You can adapt the text by creating fill in the blank activities and blanking out words which you want them to guess and then play the audio again to check their answers. Another activity you can do is to get students to choose a different profession, not a remote teacher, using the model text then asking them to type their own script to practice their writing. If you have any other ideas on how to adapt coursebook activities, I'd love to hear your ideas. Please type them in the comments section below. So in summary, when teaching online, you need to get permission from the publisher, request a digital version of the coursebook, use the share screen function in Zoom, and use software like Snagit to capture text. If you found this video useful, please click like and subscribe for more free videos.